Now, Diane, um, our topic uh, is a topic that involves your past life. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, you were a stripper. Yes. Ex-stripper. Yes. Uh, but through that process, when you gave your life to Christ, and we're going to talk about that part a little later on, mm -hmm. but you, you sort of came face to face with kind of this religious stigma when people found out what your past life was. And, and it wasn't the pleasant kind of a, an introduction. So just tell us a little bit about that story, if you don't mind. I'm really starting to tell my story a lot more now. Uh, initially, when I got involved in the church, when I became born again, uh, I was told by one of the elders when I shared the information because I, I just wasn't sure. And the advice I was given at that time was, well, you really don't want to talk about that. Okay. So I didn't talk about it. I just kept it to myself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of times people would ask, you know, what do you do? And I wasn't doing that then, right. but what, you know, your history or how'd yeah. you meet your husband, et cetera, et cetera. So it was something that I would just skate around. Okay. And now I'm feeling more comfortable and thinking, you know, people need to know. Mm -hmm. People need to know because it is part of my past. Mm -hmm. uh, and what happens when we meet others who are in that walk? Right. How do we receive them? Mm -hmm. So I think it's just something that we need to have some discussion about and mm -hmm. it's okay. It's, <laughs> Now, when you um, when you uh, when you told people, mm -hmm. um, like, what, what was their immediate reaction? As like, as I as I am talking about it now, sometimes it's a little oh, and quiet. Yeah. Just don't know what to say. Don't know what to say. Uh -huh. Of course, giggles come with uncomfortableness, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. little giggles here and there. Yeah. So it also just from some of the experiences that I've had, where it might not even be something like an ex stripper, it might be something with um, someone said a word that wasn't appropriate to mm -hmm. be said in church and then right. how they're talked about. So it made me think, well, gee whiz, mm -hmm. if you can't say that and, and it's just still being talked about, then what about I was an ex stripper? Or, yeah. you know, what about something like that? How is that received? Mm -hmm. You know, so it really just made me go, what are we doing? God said, yeah. don't judge. Yeah. Now, did you find, uh, like today, as you started to talk about it, um, is, is there a bit of like a people stand offish? You know, like wh what, your, what do you feel? What do I feel? I, I'm really not sure. I'm, I'm not too sure if, mm -hmm. if, the, if there is a standoffish, if there is just, it's uncomfortableness. Yeah. I think they're just uncomfortable. Okay. Not knowing what to say. And that's mostly from people who have been churched mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. They're uncomfortable. Yeah. Those that are new, they get it. I, I met someone who was in the same industry, sex industry. And, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you were too. I was too. Okay. You know. Oh wow, yeah. isn't that great? You know, the blood of Jesus, how we're cleansed. Yeah. I would have never known. I would have never known about you either. Yeah. You know, and that's that's neat. Yeah. But it was still it's still our secret. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think too many people know about her story, mm -hmm. as I'm telling mine now. Mm -hmm. you know? And and you feel that God is sort of giving you now that um, there's more of a comfortableness for you to say, you know yes. what. Here's the deal. This is what I was, yeah. but this is what I am. Yes. And that's okay because that's what I was. Yes. Okay. Exactly. 